2016 is off to a good start, particularly for the coastal tourism circuit, as the seventh cruise ship docked at the Mombasa port. The Seven Seas ship arrived with over 1,000 tourists and crew from eight countries, including the U.S., Sweden, Brazil, and Denmark, giving coast hoteliers more reason to dance. So far, 2,900 tourists have arrived at the coast in the last two months. According to cruise handlers, 2016 is already looking promising. We're expecting to have, for the 2016, nine cruises coming in, and we might be having an extra one to make it 10 over this period of next year. The beauty about the cruise ship, the ripple effect, the supplier value chain is major from water supply to vegetables to food stuff to security to service providers like the port uh, to tourism providers. So it's not about just tourism. Kenya is planning to attract even more cruise ships beyond 2016 at the U.S. Cruise Ship Convention in March this year as it seeks to take part in the global Miami cruise. The recently announced incentives to tour operators seem to be paying dividends. The, the, the issue is to create a circuit within the Indian Ocean, uh, from Mozambique uh, to, to Zanzibar, to Dar es Salaam, to Seychelles, to, to Kenya and Mauritius. So all these areas, we need to come together and design that circuit. The arrival of cruise ships represents the first victories for the tourism sector after its key tourism source markets, including the U.S., U.K. and France, revised their travel advisories on the country, which had lasted over a year and saw the industry's performance fall by 30 percent between January and July 2015. But the Central Bank of Kenya remains optimistic of better times ahead as one of the country's top foreign exchange earners begins its gradual recovery. Balagenga Citizen Weekend.